Hey guys, it's Greg. I hope you all had a really good Christmas. Uh, it seems like ages since I've done a video, so I thought I'd just do a quick one today of this book, which I did get as a Christmas present. I happened to mention this to my sister just before Christmas, that was after this book, and she managed to get it for me. I was really surprised when I opened it up because she's got no idea about movie posters or this book, and I literally just mentioned it in passing and she managed to get the right one. Okay, so this book's called Alternative Movie Posters, Film Art from the Underground, and it's by Matthew Chodjnaki, which is probably pronounced completely wrong, uh, but you should be able to find it if you're interested in getting this. So I'm just gonna basically do a quick flick through and then I'll zoom in on a couple of pages so that you can see the layout in more detail. It's a really, really nice book. Very high quality paper, uh, really nicely laid out. And it's full of some really great prints. There's a couple of strange omissions considering it's a movie poster book <clears throat> there's nothing in here by Ollie Moss uh, Tyler Stout Martin Anson for example which seems a bit strange uh, but on the other hand it does feature a lot of artists that I've never heard of before I mean I'm no expert but it's good to see some posters which I've never seen or heard of and a couple of them I'd definitely be interested in searching out and buying. So some strange omissions but also it does open your eyes to more artists which is a good thing. Now he's tried to pair up most of the posters so most of them <coughs> Most of the artists will have a two page spread and there's a bit of a write up on each one uh, behind the poster influences. Some of them have a few words from the artist about what inspires them and how they come up with the design. And there's also links to the artist's websites if they've got one so that if you like the print you can search out and buy it. Okay so that's a quick look through so that you can get a basic idea of what the book's like and <clears throat> I'll just open up to a couple of pages so that you can have a closer look at the layout. Okay so here we have one of the double page spreads this is a Jason Edmiston section and you can see these are his prints for Nightmare on Elm Street, Dream Warriors and Maniac Cop 2. So most of the book is set out like this with two prints by the same artist on a double page spread and as you can see down the bottom it tells you a bit about the posters uh, the artist influences a bit about the movies and a bit more from the artist himself and a few comments and at the side of each print you've got a few more details the size uh, whether it was a Mondo release or not and you've also got where the artist is based and his website. Okay, so let's just have a look at a couple more prints and that will do. Okay, so here's an example of a double page spread which features two different artists. Uh, both artists that uh, I've never heard of before which is one of the good things about this book. It highlights a couple of posters which I'd have never known about and might be interested in 
get in or certainly find out more about the artist and whatever work they've done. Sorry about the glare on the page. Okay, so we've got an American werewolf in London and that's by an artist called Jake Kelly. And on the opposite page you've got the thing and that one is by Justin Bartlett. So again, down the sides, it tells you the artist's website and a bit more about them. And moving over to this one. And again, you've got more details at the bottom of each print. Okay, so that's a... Oh, I also like this print. I think that's a really cool print and that one's by Rocco Malatesta. And a Bronson print on the other page. Okay, so that's it. Just a quick look. And I would definitely recommend picking this book up if you've got any interest in movie prints, screen prints or movies or art in general. Uh, it's pretty affordable. Uh, I'm based in the UK and you can pick it up for under £20. I'll post a link actually in the description where you can get it for the best price. If you've got any questions about it or any comments just post and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for checking out and I might have another video later today. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, bye for now.